everybody, it's your pal Carly from the Today Show, and I'm just off the set of the segment that we just did on boomer-tastic things, where we talked about how to use FaceTime and Skype. A lot of people have requested a little bit more of an in-depth tutorial, so I thought it'd be perfect for a little YouTube video, and I hope you guys enjoy the more in-depth lesson. So, as you can see on my screen here, we're on the Skype homepage, which is the first place that you should start. And if I go over here, to what is Skype, it's going to give you a really great rundown of exactly what this is and isn't, and what you're going to get for free and what you're going to pay for. So right at the top of this page, it's showing you all the things that you get for free on the left and then all the things that you have to pay for on the right, but the most popular feature of Skype is definitely Skype to Skype video chatting, and so that's what we're going to focus on today. So down here it says what you need to get started. You need a webcam. Um, my laptop that I'm on right now has a front-facing web camera, but if you have a tablet with a camera or a smartphone with a camera, um, even some televisions now have cameras um, and run Skype apps, so that's what you need there. You also need an internet connection because Skype is using VOIP or VOIP, which stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol, which basically means that instead of a telephone line or a cellular line, you're making a call over the internet. And you also need a computer with um, a microphone or speakers so that you can call, you can talk and listen. So that's all that you need. And then down here, it's going to run through all the devices that are compatible with Skype. So if you click on see all devices, it will show you. And it's very likely that you have a device that's compatible because they really make Skype available for all kinds of platforms. So that says that's Skype in a nutshell. Now get started. So you click here. So the next thing that you're going to do is set up a Skype account, because in order to use Skype, you do have to have a Skype account. So you're going to follow all these instructions, put in your name, your email address, um, you're going to add profile information, but just know that anyone on Skype can see your profile information. However, not everyone on Skype can see your phone number, only your contacts can. Right here, you're going to um, put in a Skype handle. What that means is it's your handle or your name in Skype and that's what people will see or what people will have to know if they want to reach you. You can make it anything you want, but of course it has to be something that's available and unique in the system. So um, you might need to add some numbers at the end if you want to use your name. I'm going to set up a separate account right now that's different from my original account. Great, so now I have another account. It's called Other Carly Novak, and I'm going to use it to call my phone Skype app on my regular account, CNOBlock, so that you can see live and in action how one thing can call the other. And of course, you wouldn't call yourself, but for purposes of demonstration, that's how we're going to do it. Now, it's next thing it's doing is it's telling you to go download the software, because you will need the Skype app on any device that you have in order to uh, start making your video or audio calls. So um, right near here, it's prompting me to download for Mac, because it knows I'm on a Mac laptop. Um, underneath here, it's going to suggest ways for you to get it if you're looking to get it on another device. But um, So you're going to click one of those links, follow all the instructions, install the app, and then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like inside the app. Hello! So I've installed the Skype app and this is what it looks like when you launch it. You get this little window that allows you to put in your contact information. So I'm going to put in this new accounts information other Carly no block and then use that to call my other account so that you can see how it works. So I'm just going to put in the password here and then I'm signing in and you hear that cute little noise and then you know that you're inside. Now next step is to find my other account which we're going to call my friend but you know it's me calling me um, and add it as a contact in my contacts list. In order to call someone, they need to accept you as a contact. So this is the next step. So I'm going to add a contact. I'm going to look for C no block. You are going to need to know someone's handle if you want to make a call to them. Um, so there I am. That's my actual account. And then I'm going to press this button to add them as a friend. Um, I've gone ahead and authorized this other account to call me on my phone app here. Um, and of course, I have the Skype app on my phone already. I'll show you what that looks like. 
So it looks kind of like this. I've launched it on my iPhone and um, you don't have to be in the app in order to receive a call. Um, but what you're gonna do on uh, the computer side here, or what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna click this video call button and it's gonna connect a call. So I'm getting a call right now from the other Carly Noblock account and it says that I'm calling myself. <laughs> but this is basically how it works. So I'm gonna actually accept this call because I um, had someone volunteer to be on the phone with me and uh, do this so that you could see. So there's my buddy right there and um, she just uh, video chatted me from one of my accounts to the other but you can see obviously how you would do this with a friend. So there you have it. Those are the basics of Skype and I hope you learn a little bit about how to set it up and how to make your first video call. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions definitely let me know in the comments and see you soon. Bye.